Then question 11. So the first bit, the coordinates of P. So trying to work out this point here. So that's going to be when this part has to be 0. So the x value has to be minus 4. And then the answer would just be the, the y part would just be minus 5. Okay? So it's when that bit in there is going to be 0. OK, right, part B, right, a little bit, uh, a little bit trickier, this one. Um, so the easiest thing to do here is like to consider the two possible solutions that, that we could actually have. So the first one is, let's imagine that this is, this is going to be a, a positive just here, right? I'm, I'm, going to, I'm just going to do this up here so I've got a little bit more room. So imagine we've got 3x plus 40 equals 2. Just ignore, the easiest way of doing this is to ignore for a second that that's a, a, a modulus, okay? So just imagine it's going to be, be a, a positive. So then this just gives me something I can easily that I can solve. So plus 40 equals... 2x plus 8 minus 5, so x plus 40 equals uh, 3, so x equals minus, whoops, minus 37. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. Okay, I'm putting a question mark, you'll see why I've got a question mark there in a moment. So imagine that this is a minus, so 3x plus 40 equals, so the outcome of this being a minus, so I can have minus 2, because that's the other possible. To consider. So if we now solve this, so 3x plus 40 equals minus 2x minus 8 minus 5, add 2x to both sides, 5x plus 40 equals minus 13, so minus the 40, so x would equal minus 53 over 5. Okay, now I'm just going to come back to this value up here because this was like on the on the positive section. Now x, this number, is is less than minus four because that was that was the the only line. That's the lowest it can actually take. So that value doesn't work, okay? Because x is less than minus four. All right, because once it goes into the negatives, all right, or, or less than minus four, then it's going to be like this this negative version that's going to be taken over. So that's going to be our uh, that's going to be our answer there. Okay, for, um, for this part just here. Right now, the last part of the question. Um, I had to think about this for a moment actually. Is that what we've got to do is find the range of possible values of a. Now, the easiest thing to do is to go back up and actually think about, like, we've got y equals ax. So y equals ax has got to go through this point just here, OK? Now, the gradient of this line here, we know from the original, is, is 2, OK? So that there has got a gradient of 2. So if I've got a line kind of coming through just here. Oops, I don't know why I didn't use my ruler there. All right. So it's going to have to be the gradient A. It's got to be more than 2. All right. Because if it's 2, it's going to be parallel, isn't it? So I want it to go, it's going to have to kind of cross over that way. So that's one way it could cross over. Okay. Now the other way it could cross over is if it hits in this point down here, okay? So once it kind of goes past this point here. So how does it hit that point? Well, we know minus four, so that's four, that's five. So the gradient here is five over four. So A would also need to be less than or equal to, because if it's equal to, then it means it would intercept this point here, five over four. OK, because that would make that gradient just there. Now, we also need to put this into, it does say use, um, use set notation here. So to be absolutely correct um, and to get all of the marks, we need to say A is a member of a group where it's going to be more than two, 
union, it kind of just means or. It would also, it could be, it's going to be less than or equal to 5 over 4. There we go.